All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we're talking about road clipless pedals today. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell icon down below. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss this awesome cycling content we got on this channel. So like I said, today we're talking about road clipless pedals. And if you guys haven't noticed, I am a mountain biker. Road clipless pedals were a very new thing to me. When I went ahead and redid the road bike about a year ago, I decided I wanted to try something completely different, and that was road clipless pedals on here. I had ridden Crank Brothers egg beaters on this bike ever since it was new. They were small, they worked good, and they worked with my mountain bike shoes. However, I decided it was time to try something different and something that I had never done before. So I went ahead and threw on these Shimano SPD SLs on here and we've been riding them for the past year. And here I am today to tell you what I feel about these versus a mountain bike clipless pedal. First off with a road clipless pedal, there's a few things you wanna know, especially if you're coming from a mountain bike pedal. So with a road clipless pedal, you only have one point of entry for the most part. There are some that have two, but for the most part, there is just one point of entry. In this case, there's only one side entry right there, right up on the top where your cleat would snap in. Now mountain bike pedals, depending on the pedal you have, you have either two or four if you have Crank Brothers. So when you're first getting into them and learning how to use them, a mountain bike pedal is a whole lot easier to use than a road pedal in my opinion and from my experience. Even having ridden clipless pedals for a long time, using a road set of shoes and a road set of pedals was very weird. It took me a while to figure out where exactly my cleat needed to go to be able to clip into that pedal all the time. The other thing you'll need to know for going to a road set of pedals is you need a road specific shoe. And what you're gonna need specifically is the bottom like this. So you're gonna need three separate holes, one, two, three, right there in kind of a triangle shape in order to actually use a road cleat. Now there are some that use kind of your standard two hole cleat like a mountain bike, but for the most part, you're gonna need those three holes on your shoe. So you are gonna need a road specific shoe for that. Along with that, when you notice your road shoe, there's like no traction on the bottom of there. And that's because with the design of most road pedals, that cleat takes up most of your shoe and you want, you want little to nothing in the way of the engagement of your cleat into the pedal. Versus your mountain bike, you can see it's kind of tucked in there quite a bit on these. So you have all this tread on the outside here, and then on the inside, hide your little cleat right there. And it's very small versus that. And talking about cleats, so one of the biggest differences I've noticed between a road and a mountain one is the contact patch of the cleat. So with a mountain bike cleat, whether you have Shimano or crank pillars, whatever that may be, you'll notice there is quite a bit more float to them. There is much less contact between your cleat and the pedal than there is on the road version of clipless pedals. So while you're riding, you'll notice you can move your heel around a little bit more. While you're kind of ripping on the trails, you can move your heel a little bit. And if you ever put them on your road bike, you'll notice you can still do the kind of the same thing with them. However, when you go to a road clipless pedal, you'll notice that this cleat is quite a bit larger, almost about the same size as the pedal itself. You'll notice that this and that pedal lock together pretty solid. There is not much there is not much float. Even with a cleat like this one that's supposed to allow plus or minus three degrees of float on your on your pedal, they still don't move near as much as a mountain bike. I believe a Shimano, I believe the Shimano and Crank Flowers are like six degrees of float. This is only three, so you don't get very much heel, you don't, you don't get very much play in your heel. It locks you in really solid. There is not much movement at all. And that's one of the biggest things I've noticed is the locked in feel of these pedals is that you just don't, you're, is that your leg just doesn't move as much. And that's one thing I definitely felt in my first few rides with this bike out when I put them on was my knee was killing me at the end because my knee was not moving in and out like this anymore. It was just going straight up and down all around without any movement at all. And so I'd make some adjustments to the cleat as well as the height of my saddle. I'd make some adjustments to accommodate for that different cleat and different pedal setup on here. And with that being said, there's a whole lot more adjustment you can do on a road cleat versus a mountain bike cleat. Obviously you have three different holes on a road cleat, so you can move each of those up, down, side, side, twist the cleat, twist the cleat, twist the cleat, however much you want to do. There's a lot of adjustments you can do on that. Versus a mountain bike cleat, there really isn't much you can do with that. You can move it slightly side to side, but you run into the nubs right here, so you can only move it so far side to side. You can't move it up and down quite a bit to position it where the ball of your foot is, but there's much less adjustment that you can do on here. Once you have these positioned, you can kind of transfer that between your shoes, between your different cleats, and you can kind of make, you can, and you pretty much get yourself the same feel on whatever pair of shoes and whatever style of cleat you're gonna use. For these, I tried to base my position on my cleat off of my mountain bike shoes. I tried to pretty much hold them up to each other and try and mark it about the same. And they came out roughly about the same, but 
there is still a big difference. Like I said, I had to make multiple adjustments to get the road cleat where I wanted it to be and make it feel comfortable for me. Especially on a road bike, you're going longer distances, you're doing a lot more pedaling. Whereas on a mountain bike, you're doing a lot of coasting, small pedaling, small bursts. And it makes a big difference with the road cleat where that thing is positioned to the millimeter than it would with your mountain bike cleat. Mountain bike cleat, you can kind of get away with it from what I found. Road bike cleat, not so much. When I installed these road cleats and pedals about a year ago, I talked in depth on the differences between a mountain bike and a road bike clipless pedal and cleat. So if you want to see those, you can check that. I'll give you much more specifics on it. In my opinion, I'll reiterate what I said then. If you are just getting started into cycling and you want to try clipless pedals, pick yourself up a pair of mountain bike clipless pedals. Get yourself a pair of SPDs or a set of crank fry pedals or something along those lines. I find the mountain bike pedals to be a lot more forgiving and clipping in and out as well as giving you a little bit more float. And I find it makes it feel a little bit more natural with the kind of built-in flotation of the heel so you can kind of move your foot around a little bit more, kind of like you would on a flat pedal, but still being attached to your bike. If you're looking for kind of all-in, most performance you could possibly get on your road bike, get yourself a set of road cleats. I've found the learning curve to be a little bit more on the road clipless pedals than the mountain pedals, just because of the cleat design and being an only one-sided entry. But if you're looking for the most performance on a road bike you can get, the road pedals definitely make a difference. When I first put these pedals on, I definitely didn't think they would make as big of a difference as they did, but there's something I'm gonna leave on a road bike and continue to ride these road clipless pedals, these SPD SLs right here. I'm gonna keep those on there and continue to ride them on my road bike and still run my crank brothers on the rest of my bikes out there. And that's really because these don't do good in conditions where I generally take on my bikes. The road bike's the only one that makes sense to run this style of cleat and pedal. So hopefully you guys were able to learn something today or at least found it entertaining. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Love talking to you guys. Love answering any questions you guys have. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today.